We were particularly attracted by the opportunity to apply for Shine funding because it provided the opportunity to evaluate an innovative idea that we'd wanted to do for a while. So when we saw the call for funding for this, it really did just seem like the perfect opportunity. Our project uh, was focused around providing better feedback to doctors who'd made prescribing errors. Our interventions had three different components. First of all, we needed to increase the proportion of prescriptions for which we could identify the doctor. So to do that, we targeted the junior doctors. We gave them all name stamps, which they could use to stamp their name, so that if somebody identifies an error or indeed has any query, it's very easy to identify the doctor and contact them and speak to them about it. And we gave them feedback every fortnight with how well they were doing with identifying themselves. The second part of the intervention was to provide training and support to pharmacists um, to be able to give better and more useful feedback to doctors. Okay, so what we'd like you to do is to think about how you give feedback if you identify any prescribing errors. We've worked quite a lot with the FY1s in particular to establish how they'd like to receive feedback. We worked with the doctors to create appropriate phrases that were constructive and tactful and yet clear and used those in training the pharmacists and you know providing support in how to do that. And I've got some phrases for a good and bad way to give feedback. I want to highlight to you there was an error made on this prescription. The correct way to prescribe it is as follows. Or how about, this drug was prescribed incorrectly. The correct way to prescribe it is like this. And everything else you've prescribed is spot on. So you're also getting the opportunity there to give a bit of positive feedback as well as pointing out something they could have improved on. The third part of the intervention was to provide group feedback. So for this, we developed a prescribing tip of the fortnight, um, which was emailed out to all of the junior doctors every two weeks, oh, yeah. highlighting a common or serious error in more detail with how to prevent it happening again. One of the things that we had real success in was increasing the number of medication orders for which we could identify the prescriber. Uh, we had baseline figures of less than 10% and we increased that up to around 50%. And we had incredibly positive feedback from the doctors who we were working with, from the pharmacists who were involved, from the medical education leads, uh, from more senior management in the trust. Everybody really was very positive about it. As a result of our SHINE project, we've now got a new system for identifying doctors within our organisation. We believe we've got much better feedback going back to doctors who might have made an error. The project is being sustained locally, it's been rolled out to another local trust and we're looking to roll it out further across our academic health sciences network. It's really important to have the organisation support when putting together this sort of application. Having uh, talked to the important people around the organisation means the project is not going to get blocked later on. It also means that the right stakeholders are hopefully involved from an early stage. And both the doctors and the pharmacists, I think, had a sense of this was something that would work within existing resources. I think one of the challenges sometimes is coming up with an idea which is innovative and new and exciting and yet is still practical enough to be able to be done within the systems we work in. Other top tips would be to build on existing work, either work that you've done within your team locally or work within the literature, because I think that really shows how the project fits in with what has already been done and helps give a sense of what might be feasible. And I think finally, it sounds quite obvious, but funders usually have quite clearly stated criteria for success. So making sure that your application is clearly demonstrating how you meet those criteria is going to set you much better in terms of uh, being able to be successful. Successful.